Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to your, uh, well, yeah, daily update on Xai. Very much needed. I mean, yesterday evening, uh, it was absolutely bullish. And since then, it has dropped down quite a bit. I mean, you can see uh, we, had, we had some nice bullish momentum starting at 5 p.m. Went all the way from 90, 95 uh, cents to $1.2. Back to our previous top. And now we are uh there's a possibility we've actually created a double top uh which is actually usually a um reversal pattern so that would be bearish but just in general i uh, i just wanted to give you my thoughts on xia all right um we got some some news we, we need to talk about yesterday in general i'm not sure if they have actually if they have actually talked about this news at all uh which i'll quickly check i, I don't think they did which is actually pretty weird. But no, the, the news which I wanted to talk about is that DWF Labs, which is known for, for crypto pumps and in general, it's just a market maker that's that's doing pretty well. Uh, you can see right there that they have announced the launch of a Sentry Note on Xi Games. All right, so they, them backing Xi, I mean, I already think Xi is great. Uh, like, I, like I've like i said before, I, I bought Xi down here at like 65 cents to get it with the signal and the premium group, all right, which I have. Links will be down in the description. But we bought it, and I think long term, Xi still has a lot of potential. It's it's still only at a at at, at a sub three hundred million market cap. But now on the short term, I'm a little bit worried. I mean, like I said, this this bullish momentum was was good to see, and we also I assume I haven't looked at it, but we also got some some good bullish momentum right here. Um, however, the momentum right now it's kind of been the same. <laughs> All right, so it's it's not low if you compare to the last week. But it's also not growing and over the last 24 hours i mean it's it's just uh, it's, it's it could go both ways and that scares me because right now bitcoin i mean bitcoin is doing fine at the moment but the bitcoin dominance uh, is slowly increasing and is a, is at a very low point so if if the bitcoin dominance increases and bitcoin increases that's not bad news for xi but it's also not necessarily good news so what needs to happen is that xi right now has a major support level at 95 cents after breaking down below 1.05 right here i expect us to drop down to that level but from that level what needs to happen is we need to find support and break above one dollar and six cents all right if we can do that we're still bullish we, we're going up to 1.25 and probably even higher potentially up to 1.5 um but i'm not sure whether i think this is the most likely scenario i mean like i said i i have my doubts on on xai on the short term maybe this was just a, a final pump and now we'll actually have a bit of a retracement so that's something we'll have to see because in in the other scenario which at this moment i actually do think is most likely given given the the structure and the price action um if xai drops down to that level and is not able to find a break above 1.06 then at some point of time 95 cents is going to break and then we're dropping all right then we're dropping down to 85 80 cents and then the market structure at least on the short term is bearish and like i said that's actually what i think is most likely if you look at the price action right here especially this bearish momentum the market circumstances in in general <clears throat> And then also uh, and then also the momentum that's that's not really growing anymore for xi so there's definitely a possibility we'll still be bullish but we just need to break above 1.06 pretty quickly all right so keep an eye on that and for now that's uh, that's what you need to know so i'll keep you updated also if there's some news on xi whatever uh, but for now those are my thoughts all right so thank you for watching take care